It isn't all that uncommon for mods to make it big these days. Just take it from Valve. But for a mod to inspire a burgeoning new genre of gaming is a rare thing indeed. League of Legends, a game that literally riffs on the Warcraft phenomenon Dota, is the product of this very kind of scenario. It attempts to carve out its own identity, all while being completely free of charge. But is this investment in time well worth your micromanaged minutes? Welcome, Summoner, to the Proving Grounds. Mechanically speaking, League of Legends could best be described as a small-scale RTS with a deep emphasis on player versus player combat. But instead of controlling an army, you need only worry about your champion, an avatar that levels up during matches with new skills and gear as the golden experience roll in. With the goal of each of League of Legends matches coming at the demise of the opposing team's base, the game isn't all that fundamentally different than Dota. But what League of Legends offers that its progenitor doesn't is a sense of permanence that carries over from game to game. With every short-term match comes long-term benefits, a hook that League of Legends hopes to embellish with gated content and rewards. You'll gain experience points that go toward new spells and talent tree-like masteries, as well as influence points, good for purchasing new heroes and stat-raising runes. As such, players higher up on the totem pole enjoy a few perks that lower-level folk don't, though in terms of putting the two together, the game's built-in matchmaking aims to link players with those of like experience. Don't test your luck, summoner. With all of its experiments and persistence, League of Legends' unique twist on the formula comes close to feeling a bit like an MMO. The game gives players the flexibility to spec out builds appropriate to their playstyle, all while unlocking content for those who put in the effort to reap the rewards. And though it may seem like a system that favors the elite, League of Legends does a good job of keeping things accessible in and out of the game. Win or lose, you'll make progress simply by playing. League of Legends is definitely an intriguing evolution of Dota. Many of its thoughtful additions, including the ability to reconnect to dropped games, address the things that held its predecessor back, and its ambitious stab at persistence brings a new sense of scope to the genre. But for all of its pluses, a few rough edges remain. Many expected features, including new maps, clan support, and replays, are yet to be implemented, and many aspects of the game still feel like they're in the beta phase. Though League of Legends is free, supporters can opt to buy a retail or digital copy of the game that awards an initial stock of runes, champions, and in-game money to get the ball rolling. In the long term, the game plans to sustain itself with microtransactions, but with that kind of business model yet to fully take hold in Western markets, it's anyone's guess as to how it'll all work out in the end. It's only fun if they run. <laughs> League of Legends sticks to its lane-pushing, turret-destroying roots to a T. Tactical Deceit, with a heaping handful of team play and ganking, is the name of the game. But perhaps more significant than any other aspect of League of Legends is its hefty roster of champions, which totals almost 40 in all. From lamppost-wielding vagabonds to fearsome rodents with blow darts, the champions are meticulously designed with their own distinct gameplay gimmicks and looks. It isn't merely enough to know what your champion does, taking into account every one of its unique abilities, as well as how they all mix with your opponent's own, comprises a significant portion of the game's strategy and charm. The controls have taken a bit of a turn, ditching Warcraft's hotkeys for a more ergonomic setup specific to the game. Abilities are intuitively mapped and easily accessed, making the spellcasting feel effortless, even in the most clutch situations. Players looking to make it on their own will find a slippery slope to climb, as League of Legends makes it immediately clear that the emphasis is strictly on the team. Judiciously timing heals, nukes, and crowd control spells in group situations is not only vital, but rewarding, making combat feel intricate and deep. Environmental elements like brush enable stealthy mix-ups to factor in coordinated assaults, and the calculus that determines how fights pan out is chock full of variables. To its detriment, however, League of Legends' complexity can also be a bit overwhelming. The game's deceptively slow-looking pace masks the chaos that can often occur in heated group firefights. It also suffers from information overload with the sheer number of skills and gear at your disposal. To this end, League of Legends employs a number of helpful countermeasures like an organized team suggestion system and a detailed champion database. Players looking to get their feet wet can even go into bot-populated practice games to avoid the harsher online environment. Depending on the skill level of each player, matches can typically range anywhere from half an hour to well beyond that. Bitter battles can sometimes turn into desperate stalemates, making the commitment in time seem unreasonable at points. 
A smaller, quicker three-on-three -three variant is currently in the process of being tested right now, but if you enjoy the winding, deliberate classic Dota pace, it'll be necessary to set aside some time to hunker down for a proper match. True to its lineage, League of Legends presents its fanciful world with a distinct fantasy aesthetic that's rich in personality and even richer in hue. Champion designs benefit from a playful geometry that draws unmistakable comparisons to Warcraft. And for a fairly modest production, the game pulls off an appealing look that fits its style. Audio-wise, League of Legends conjures up a host of interesting sounds and speech. The overall quality isn't exactly consistent, but you'll definitely get a kick out of some of the cheesier lines of dialogue. Now you see me, now you don't! Here we go! For all of its flaws and ambitions, League of Legends will undoubtedly go down as the first true successor to the Dota experience. As a free game, it's definitely worth your bandwidth, though whether it'll prove its worth as a paid service is still up in the air. The game largely succeeds more than it falters, and anyone with a soft spot for deep team-based strategy should not pass up this substantial gem. Okay.